Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. 12 o'clock location, we have Doodle as the pink Protoss. Bottom right hand corner, we have Master Ray. This is on Sylphid. And currently, so Doodle taking a game, keeping himself alive. If Master Ray wins this, he will advance to the finals. If Doodle wins this, we will go to a game five. I'm trying to think what, I think BSL Aid Runner would be the, or Blade Runner would be the final map. I'm trying to think if there's additional maps out there that, or if it's even just five maps. There are other maps, I'm sure. Anyway, Master Ray faltering in that last match. I really think that Doodle's ability to micro really shined in that last uh, engagement. And also the engagement points that he was forcing Master Ray into his natural expansion where there's kind of that inherent funnel. Kind of a distance pylon. I wonder if that's to check for cheese. Or just to provide a little bit of panic <laughs> on Doodle's part. Doodle placing a pylon a little bit closer to his main. Alongside there. So the entrance is right here, but usually you'll see the pylon like, I don't know, here, somewhere. This is kind of an interesting forward location for that pylon. Looks like the initial scout from Doodle, he wants to make sure he gets eyes inside of his opponent's base. So not even, not doing an after gateway scout, doing an initial scout after pylon. And he is going to be able to wander in and see this initial gateway. Perhaps he wants to see this because it is a map that does not have a ramp. And so he wants to make sure that he can see whether his opponent is going for more of a Zealot opener or whether he's going for a Dragoon opener. And it looks like we actually are seeing the classic 10-11 or 11-11. Double gate. Double gate opener. The old double gate before second pylon. Same thing on the opposite side from Doodle. So it is going to come down to pure micromanagement. And the pylon placed alongside for Master Ray just in case he wants to get some gas. Follow this up. So both players, I think, opting for this because this you do have this Lurker Egg that can be taken down by Zealots. And so you, it's almost like a defensive maneuver where you can, you can do it be aggressive, but also you want to do it just because you want to make sure that if your opponent's doing it, you're, you have enough units to kind of deal with it just flat on the ground. So initial result being produced. See if either player goes for the full three. Usually when you see this opener, yeah, we get the full complement of three. The initial Zealot going to go ahead and chase. Ooh, Master Doodle taking an initial shot right in the face. Now the question is, is does either player blink at this stage and go ahead and opt for gas? Or is it just going to be Zealot versus Zealot Fest? Master A, I don't think he's... Well, let's see if he can sneak by the Zealot to get his scout up. Sneaking through. Zealot engaging and does wander straight, straight in. Which will be a big win. Doodle plopping down his gas. We do see Master Ray plopping his gas equivalently. The gas coming down much earlier for Master Ray comparatively. And I think, yeah, he's got three Zealots to chase this probe down. Might catch it right up. I was going to say might catch it right there. Was able to get a hit, but it was able to sneak through. And Doodle is going to continue to stay in this base until he sees that assimilator. Cybernetic score behind that back line. I think he's waiting to see how many probes go into gas. Assimilator up on the opposite corner right now. And we do see there's going to be five zealots produced, which suggests to me that Doodle is planning on to be a little bit more aggressive with this attack force. Still no zealots. These gateways remain, remain silent otherwise. Master Ray desperately wants to pin this probe in. And he is showing three probes on gas. Which suggests a dedication to additional dragoons. Cybernetic score warping in here for Doodle. Again, he is going to have this five zealot force. So I'm wondering if he's going to move out as soon as he has that dragoon. Two more zealots being produced now for Master A a little bit later, which actually is going to give him kind of that general tech lead. Citadel of a Dune instantly after that, as soon as that probe was killed, Citadel of a Dune. And I'm wondering if he's going to opt for. Okay, he knows that his opponent's gone more dragoon heavy. So I'm wondering if he's like, okay, maybe I can sneak some Dark Templar here in the mid game. Five Zealots making their way across. Some Zealots from Master Ray moving their way across the map. They are going to meet here in the middle. Who gets the better concavity? Doodle getting three Zealots on that one initially. It looks like this additional Zealot also getting that attack, but backed up from Doodle. Nice micro there. And Doodle doing some good Zealot shuffling. Master Ray trying to push some Zealot shuffling as well. And actually both players doing some excellent shuffling all the way around. Looks like Master Ray getting the better part of it. Way better part of it. Wow. Master Ray, look at, look at these Zealots here. Four health on that one, four, just eight health right there. And they're going to be able to retreat back to home base and stay alive. Huge wins overall for Master Ray. And he is, in fact, going for that cheesy Dark Templar. 
follow up. He's got his forge up. Two more gateways plop down. Oh, this is going to be a build order loss for Doodle, I think. Range is upgrading. It's about halfway finished. Is he going to plop down a forge is the question. So he's he's faking. So right now he's kind of doing after that initial big zealot engagement loss. Beautiful micro, by the way, from Master Ray, just at the exact right moment. Pylon's there. He's going to continue to pressure this. He's not going to get much out of this. But he's trying to... Oh, he canceled the pylon. He's actually going to have him backing out. So Doodle, unfortunately, he's kind of like, oh, I'm going to take my natural. Oh, no, I'm going to do something else. But Master Ray is already preempting him and has Dark Templar in production right now. I'm actually just hanging out the natural expansion. I'm wondering if Doodle caught on to this, that there was no range from those Dragoons. Now, it's possible he's thinking, oh, well, that that's normal because Dragoon range wouldn't kick in depending on what he's doing. But, unfortunately, ugh. A couple cannons placed down just in case they were Dark Temple of the opposite side from Master Ray. But here come the Invisible Men. And yeah, I don't see anything from Doodle to deal with this. That's a bit of a disappointment, I'm going to be honest, as far as an Exeter. It's not over yet. It's possible that Doodle can could do the fanning spread here. And might be able to catch... Maybe he'll see the Shimmer and be able to deal with this. Ooh, with Probe sneaking his way around that army. Wow, that timing from Master Ray. Did he see the... Sh okay, he sees the Probe, I think? He sees... Maybe sees the shimmer. I'm not sure if he was distracted by this probe or not. But maybe he sees the Stark Templar now? I don't think so. I don't think Doodle saw it. So he's going to have to end the game with this ground army. He does have a significant amount of Dragoons walking into this. One Dark Templar is coming back to home base to provide some defense. And the other Dark Templar is wandering. Yeah, I think Master Ray's got this. And we'll see once this... Once... Oof. Okay. So Doodle would have to end this just through magic micro here. And I don't think that's going to happen with this many cans and a third cannon being plopped down, plus a Dark Templar nailing that front. So I'm waiting for GG. Master Ray is going to advance to the finals here. It's just a matter of time before Doodle realizes it. I think he's yeah, just going to try to expend what he can because this is the final game. GG called with an exclamation point even. Hope to see Doodle again next season of Hasu League. Master Ray is going to advance to the finals. And we will catch... The opposite side of the bracket, which I can't even remember who's there. I'll have to look at the players. Uh, I have those replays. I'm going to do them momentarily. Probably start some today. Do some additional one Thursday. Uh, do the additional Thursday. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Quick one from Master Ray. I got to say, for this, the way the series was running, a bit of a disappointing ending to see the Dark Templar win it. The Invisible Men shake the fist. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Nevertheless, thanks for listening.